Qatar Airways has revealed that passenger revenues for the fiscal year of 2022 to 2023 were up over 100% as it reported USD 21 billion, a record for the company. The Doha-based airline cites the successful 2022 FIFA World Cup, which was hosted in Doha, as a key catalyst for the company's position to be in such a favourable place. USD 21 billion in revenues was actually a substantial increase from what they reported in the fiscal year prior, where it was at just USD 14.4 billion. However, when it came to their net profit, this was down over USD 300 million from the year before, sitting at 1.21 billion. I think one of the most interesting things to take a look at in the upcoming fiscal year is how not having the World Cup affects their performance in terms of total revenues. Will we see a potentially drop or will they manage to continue growing? Do you think, given that this was a record-breaking year and massively aided by the FIFA World Cup, which as we know is a one-off, you could potentially expect it to drop? Or will they sustain those levels of record revenues? 80% load factors were also reported company-wide, and key executives largely labelled the year as an important one once again for recovery. Major boosts were felt, though, because of the various sporting events. The airline carried 31.7 million passengers, which was a 71% increase from the previous year. During the height of the pandemic, Qatar Airways were actually one of the few airlines that remained flying, with a pretty robust international network. They helped citizens get home to countries right around the world when those respective countries' national airlines essentially abandoned them and stopped flying. As such, I firmly think it's an airline that's won a place in many people's hearts for its continued service and quality service in very difficult times where people didn't have very many options to get home. While a brief news on the fiscal year results have emerged, a full report is yet to be published by the company, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer to better understand formally where they went well and maybe in what areas things didn't go according to plan, giving us a perfect rundown and look at the situation at Qatar Airways. When that is revealed, I'll be covering it here on the channel to dig a little deeper into those results and understanding potentially where drop-offs were felt whether it was in the cargo sector or on specific routes. If you have any thoughts on Qatar Airways reporting that record-breaking revenue, of course aided by the 2022 FIFA World Cup, you can let me know down below in the comments. And additionally, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe they'll be able to sustain these levels of revenues given they won't have the World Cup to their advantage for this fiscal year? Therefore, do you see the revenue dropping? Let me know down below as well. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed your weekend, and I'll see you next time for more coverage on our industry.